Hey there, welcome to Dull Motion, and welcome to this Patreon exclusive repaint video. With the Takora key craze going on in the doll community, I really needed to make my own version. For those who don't know what the Kora key is, it's a Japanese Harajuku street fashion, where you over accessorize yourself with everything that's cute. Although I prefer to make more cool or scary dolls, I like to collect cute ones. To make the perfect combination between cute and cool, this doll is also going to be a kutsune. Okay, kutsune means fox in Japanese. I actually mean the kutsune spirit, or yokai. A fox with more than one tail. They are very common in popular media, like Pokemon, Naruto, Yokai Watch, and Digimon. I even collect kutsune magic cards in my teens. Let's make a decor key Kitsune doll. For this repaint, I'll be using this Disney Descendants Audrey doll. I love their more realistic body types, and those face molds are just gorgeous. Let's prep this doll for her transformation. I cut her hair as close to her head as possible. Hmm, this short cut. Works pretty well for her. To remove the head from the body, I dunk the doll in hot water and let it soak. The final gets soft and easy to remove without breaking the neck pack. Now I can go through her neck with tweezers to remove the remaining hairs. I remove her human ears with an exacto knife. She will get in fox ears, of course. To remove the factory painted face, I use nail polish remover containing acetone. Washing the face after with warm soapy water. To prep her body for all the mods, I make a hole on her lower back with a little cutter. And I also cut off her lower legs with a jeweler saw. I have some fun plans for our legs later. For our hair, I have a combination of purple with some streaks of pink. And I will be using this cut off blue hair for my Gary video for our bangs. But before I reroute her, I paint her head in the right colors for a reroute guideline. Now that we still have a plain head, I'm going to sculpt new ears using epoxy clay. I sculpt the ears around this wire I pushed in our head. And because I still have some clay left, I already sculpted the new facial features. Based on a long snout foxes have. Hmm, I don't know, it looks more like a dog. When the clay is all dry, I can take out the ears. The clay is already white, but to match it better, I give it another paint coat. For tails and ears, I'll be using many colors of acrylic yarn. I bind them to a giant cut-off fly swatter and start brushing out the yarn. After that, I glue the yarn to a freezer bag. This makes the yarn more manageable. For tails, it's going to be three. I bind wires together that come together in one. For a better grip for the yarn webs, I cover the wire with bandage tape. Huh, I found some leftover yarn webs for my Franger doll. I will also using these for our multicolored tails. The tips will be different colors, but the rest of the tails will be snowy white. I just go around the wires gluing the webs with a hot glue gun. They look pretty good. Maybe a little bit of a trim with the eyebrow razor. For our ears, I will make teeny tiny bits of flock by cutting yarn in pieces. 
To glue the flock to our ears, I first cover the whole ear with fabric glue. And dab on the flock. Wait one day for it to dry and brush off the remaining flock. I will also use the pink yarn for the inside of her ears. Now that I have marked off the area where her ears will be, I can start rerouting her. The reroute went well, but I did lose her facial features. Because I had to squeeze her head for the reroute. I also found the new facial features to dog like, so I'm going to redo it. Let's switch to her body for now. As a base, I glue wires to her legs with a two-part epoxy glue. I have a great idea for her legs. I want to make legs just like the legs on these cards. For this, I will be using leftover monster eye hands and arms. They connect quite well and look pretty much like a fox leg. Okay, minus the creepy hands. I attach them to our legs with some more epoxy glue. And to give it some body, I use again epoxy clay. Again, I'm not too sure about the result. Because the joints are pretty weak, and this can be quite a problem for a stop motion scene. I glue a few bolts together and insert them into a hole in her back. This way I can hook the doll up to a rig. Time to paint the rest of her body white. When the paint is all dry, I cover the ends of her arms and legs with purple pastel powders to get a transition between colors. Just like my other fox doll, Alex. Oh yeah, that's right, this doll is going to be Alex's sister. I spray the doll a few times with Mr. Superclear and start sketching in her face. I do this with a light colored pencil. And if I want to correct a mistake, I use a pencil or eraser. I know many doll artists like to do the entire face using only pencils, but I prefer to make a guideline sketch, so I can fill it in later with acrylic paint. But before we do that, I give her some depth with pastel powders. This really brings out the face. And now for the acrylic paint. Many Kutsune spirits have white fur and markings on their face. Usually these markings are in red, like these Japanese festival masks. But to make it more decoraki, I'm going for a purple color. I have to say, I really like Japanese mythical creatures, or yokai. I really like to do more of these in doll form in the future. I'm not sure if the next Patreon exclusive will be a yokai, but it will definitely be a mythical creature. With again pastel powders, I like to darken our eyes. It really gives this nice depth in our eyes. To bring out the colors in our eyes, I give it a small stroke of light green. Although she doesn't really look like Alex, they do have the same eye color. I imagine she used to have orange fur, 
but she dyed it for Harajuku style. <laughs> Some cute little stickers on her cheeks and she's done! To see on the face up I spray the hat again with Mrs. Super Clear. Ok, back to those legs. Although I like the technique by using spare doll arms, I don't think they will work on this custom. I need to have more control to animate her. So I decided to break off the legs and start over. I'll be using her old feet and the joints from a Jackson Jekyll doll. I think they were Hendry's. I cut them up and made a hole on the feet for the joints. I secure them with epoxy glue and give it body with epoxy clay. This makes her much more stable. And I can switch to a high heel and a flat heel. Ok, now that her body is done, let's make her outfit. I will be using some leftover fabric for my Daisy, Franger and Cherry doll. These are all very bright colors, which is perfect for a decor key girl. I will also be using this see through fabric from an old skirt. To make a pattern, I will be using again the wrapping technique. You do this by wrapping the doll's body in kitchen plastic. And after that covering the doll with drawing on tape. Draw on the pattern and cut it off the doll. Now you can trace the pieces on fabric and sew the pieces together to make a perfect fitting t-shirt. I thought it would be funny to draw my mascots Kitty, Motto and Fringe on it. You probably won't see the whole t-shirt because her skirt will be over it. But hey, you know it's there. I also made her a jacket with a zipper and of course the skirt. Now that her outfit is done, let's tame her hair. Because this hair needs to be ready for all those decorations. I pour hot water over it and let it air dry. I cut the bangs to the right size and now I can finally glue back her ears and tails. When the glue is dry, I bind the hair in two long ponytails. Oh, so cute! Ok, time to heavily decorate this doll. I know you have subtle decor key, like fairy key, but I want this doll to be over the top, like more is more. These sliced up polymer clay miniatures, you can buy on eBay, are a perfect decor key base. You have cute animals, fruit, flowers, and we have, oh sorry, we got some dirt in here. <laughs> Take that away. Oh cute, Totoro. I will also using my collection of colorful beads, epoxy clay decorations, more fruit, and the goodie bag I got from Catherine some time ago. So, a lot of stuff. Let's glue some cute decorations on our hair. I will using fabric glue. It will stay on great, but it will be permanent. Oh, she's looking cuter with a minute. And to finish the doll, I give her eyes, lips and nose some shine with a high gloss varnish. So, my brother Alex is running YouTube. Then I'm around Patreon. But who will be my partners? Uh, uh, ah! 
Oh, you two look so cool. Why? We could have so much fun here on Patreon. Oh, yes, the colors, the videos. Oh, yes, I can't wait to do so much stuff here. Should I take that off you? You want to keep that on, man. As you saw, I gave Morta, the angel of that, a new look. I thought she looked too much like an alien with those black shiny eyes. So I gave it more holes for eyes. I gave her a new outfit, by using the same fabric like my Plague Doctor repaint. I think she looks so much better now. Well, that was it for this Patreon exclusive repaint video. We have a new member for our Patreon doll family. And like she said, her brother Alex will be running YouTube. And Vilpini, that's her name, will be running Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. Bye!